Hey, what's up, folks? It's great to have you back again. And today we're going to check out how we can leverage the API of a static application security testing tool to find secrets in public GitHub repositories. And this video is once again sponsored by the amazing team at ShiftLeft. Make sure to check out their product. Hit the link down below in the description that takes you to a free trial. It's an awesome tool. And now let's jump straight into it. All right, fellas, so let's jump straight into finding our secrets with the shift left API. And the screen we're having over here should be well known to you if you've checked out the previous two episodes. So I'm not going to dive into how I created those two applications. I am going to use the shift left JS demo application out of the previous video. And what I have provided for you is a little demo app that uses shift left API. And if you have no idea what shift left API can do, you want to definitely check out the API description that teaches you about the authentication, how you can use it in an authenticated way. It shows you how you can compare scans, list app findings, do a couple of things with the findings. It shows you how you can list the app versions. It shows you how you can play around with the apps, list the apps and the branches. You can compare the scans, you can list the scans, and you can put down comments on specific findings and list all of them via the app. So that's pretty cool. But I've already went ahead and prepared a little Python app for you. And let me quickly show you what this is doing. So first of all, we are going to read the access token that we need to talk to the API. Then we're going to get the organization ID, which you can get out of the web UI. And then we're setting this as a bearer token in our header once we send a web request to the API. And I want to show you a couple of examples. So over here, I have the API query to list all the apps. And I'm just going to run this right now. Let's do that. We see that the code is executed down below here. And if we look closely, we have found two applications. And those are the two ones that you've seen in the web UI called Hacksplain and shift left minus JS minus demo. And I want to use the second one. So in my crappy code, I'll just dump that name into here right now. I'm actually going to share this code with you in a chest. So if you want to use that, you can check it out. But yeah, it's nothing special, just a little demo. And what I'm going to do right now is I will comment out this query to list all the apps. And I'm going to say, let's see if we can get all the findings. So let's run this again and see what I'm getting back. And if I scroll up to the very top of this outcome, we do see that we got the findings listed for the shift left JS demo. And let me pull this up a little over here. You can see that there is a finding section down below here. And if we go down, it basically lists all the findings that we do see in the web UI. So if I go back to the web UI and I jump on this application, we do see that we have a total of 11 findings right now. But I told you that we're interested in the secrets right now in this episode. So let me go back and show you what we can do. I will get rid of that query by commenting out this one. And I am using this one which specifies in the type parameter, as you can see over here, that we're interested in secrets only. So I'm going to run this again, and I am getting another output that is way shorter, because now we're getting only the secrets. And if we have a quick look, there's only one secret if we look at the web UI. And we can see that using the API as well. So here is, once again, 
the information of the app and down below here we have the findings and we have found a secret obviously and the title is hard-coded sensitive secrets and credentials and if we go down a little bit it tells me a lot of really interesting information so you can use that and build on that to for example build your own little secret management tool that tells you if there are secrets that were mistakenly published to a github repository and what we can see over here you can for example extract data like what is the type uh, when was this first seen has this been seen multiple times or only once we do get the line number we do get the file where this was leaked in we do get the actual secret and there's also a couple of tags so for example here it tells me amazon access id so you already get a first idea of what the secret is all about but the the best part is that you also get the url where the secret is leaked so let's take that jump back over here and fire that into our browser and what we can see down below here that in line number 57 we do have our constant stripe client id akia yada 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 so this is the secret that we have found by using a static code analysis tool by using shift left and yeah i mean the next step would obviously be to get rid of that and to also delete the history of the file otherwise people out there in the public would still be able to find it and this is it for today check out this solution maybe you also find some secrets in public github repositories and if you do make sure to get them out of there all right subscribe in the top right corner as always it would be amazing if you give this video a like and make sure to check out the rest of this playlist that is all about static application security testing 